Hey, Dana here. And welcome to our vlog. Well, my daughter wasn't able to go to work today in her uh, borrowed Sabring. Because <laughs> the battery appeared to be dead. Well, it wasn't dead. It actually was the connections on the battery. Stay tuned. We're going to troubleshoot those. All right, here we are. The 2004 Sabring. And... We're trying to get it safety inspected. But what happens is if the battery disconnects and or or it goes dead, what it does is it clears the codes in the computer and the emissions for New York State, I don't know if it's in any other state, um, will not pick up the codes for the emissions and it will not give you a safety sticker. So we've been trying to do this last day or two and I thought I'd tighten the I tightened the ground but I was able to get it from underneath and I had to uh uh today she went to go to work and it didn't she didn't have any power again so I got a chance to get get to it from up on top See, the problem is with this, the battery compartment is in the wheel well. And there's no other way to get to that battery. So, you know, normal, normal cars, the battery is right there. Well, on this one, you've got a, ju you got a jumper positive and you've got a ju jumper negative. So, unfortunately... I can see down through there. I can see I can see the ground connection down through there, but I can't see the I can't see the uh positive. So I'm gonna be taking the wheel off here and we're gonna troubleshoot that and make sure those connections are alright. So here we are. What I had to do is somehow or other this had fallen down and fallen on the wheel and I actually burned out burned out the hole so I took a milk carton and I cut it out and got it got it adapted in here so now I'll get under there and uh, see what that looks like alright so here we are I pulled the panel off and now we're in the battery it looks like the splashed up on it and not making it. Yep, there it is. There's the issue right there. See how loose that. See how loose that is. Not good. Okay, so there's the there's the culprit. That's good and tight. So we'll get that tightened up. All right, there we go. I got it. I got it nice and tight. Tighten that one back up. So, <clears throat> I guess the conclusion of this is, if you have an issue, if you go into your car and all of a sudden you go to turn the key, you got nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing, and you drove it the day before. Your battery is still charged. It didn't drain. I don't. You're not gonna find that drained overnight. What you're gonna find is you got a bad battery connection, and uh, this being in the worst place you could possibly put a battery. Uh, now I got to get the cover back on. This is something that you know you've got to pull the tire off to get to it, because there's no, you got no access to that battery down there. You might, you can see, you can see the ground right now, straight through, and there's just no. <laughs> there's just no real access to getting to it without pulling it so but here's your here's your ground and then your there's your positive and you can connect your jumper cables to those points so, all right there we are got the panel all back in all screwed and tight 
And then uh, I put that plastic back in there to keep that battery contained. So next thing, all I got to do is put the tire back on and torque the nuts and we're good. So, all right, thanks for watching. And don't forget to click on my face to subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next Projects Chrysler.